This is just a short video on just a couple moves I like to do to support lower back um, to create a little bit of stretch and relief if there's tightness in the lumbar and lower back region, but also to create some stability and strength. Uh, so that's the focus of the core. So we'll start at the wall. So if you start standing, and if you don't have a wall, you could use like a windowsill or something that's a similar height as your hips. So starting by just taking your hands to your hips and finding the top of the pelvis. So you can kind of take your thumb and index finger and work around your hips and just feel that rim. And then if you take your hands to the front, there's two bones, the front of the pelvis. If you put your hands on those bones and imagine there were two lights as headlights, so we're going to find something of similar height that those headlights would meet. So for me, I'm going to actually catch the wall and just place my hands at the wall and walk myself back. So you could do this with bent knees. A common tendency here is to kind of stick your butt up to the sky and ask that you draw your front ribs towards the low belly and pull the low back up to sky. Tail actually comes towards the ground. Just taking a few breaths here. You might straighten one leg and reach that opposite hip back, keeping those front ribs towards the low belly. And switching sides. So bending left leg, reaching your right leg back, front ribs towards the low belly. Keep pressing into the wall with the hands. And then walk in. Now, if your shoulders are giving um, you issues in that form and it's actually too much to have the arms overhead, I'll show you another form to do that stretch on the ground. So you'll come to all fours. In all fours, take your toes, tuck them underneath. Your hips and knees are about hip distance. Imagine like you had a block between your thighs and go ahead and squeeze the thighs in. You'll feel your front ribs towards the low belly, hips tuck. Keep that, walk your torso to the left and just pull the right hip back. Chin can come to chest, breathe here. And then walk the hands in, keep the legs squeezing to center, walk off to the right, pulling that left hip back, keeping the front ribs towards the low belly. And then come back to center. Move your feet to the side and come on your back. So for this one, coming onto your back, if you need any extra padding, go ahead. You can place something underneath your head, your pelvis, your shoulders. This one I'm gonna show you in stages. We'll start with the feet down on the ground. Feet are about hip distance. Take your hands and bring your hands right to your thighs. So you're creating a little bit of a push of your hands into thighs or creating a brace. In that brace, what action I want to encourage in my body is a corset effect. So there's like a wrap of all the core muscles hugging towards midline, towards the spine. So we're working those stabilizer front sides and back to help support the spine. So with the hands to the thighs, go ahead and press into the thighs. And as you push your thighs away from you, really push your heels into the ground and try and move your front ribs, the ones that poke to sky, try and move them down towards the pelvis and towards the ground. And as you do that, see if you can feel and tone the muscles along the sides of the torso, working towards really engaging those transverse abdominals. Hold that engagement for another three, two, and then one release. Now, as you release, you can come into neutral form, feet wide, knees knocking, or more open form if your back allows the feet touching and the knees wide, and just pause. Again, and then come back, knees up, feet and knees hip distance, lift your legs. So if lifting your legs is actually creating pain today in your low back, you'll stay with the hands or the feet on the ground, the hands coming to thighs. And this one here, you'll just keep working that until you build enough strength and stability that it's comfortable or okay to elevate the legs up. 
When the legs are elevated, go ahead and bring your inner feet and inner knees in. And I want you to pull the legs in until you feel the point where your low back is really flat on the ground. It starts to really round or flex. And then pull the legs away. This is just building awareness. You're pulling the legs away until you feel the low back lift. And then pull them in, feel it round out into the lifts. Find that spot where it's it's neither fully lifted or fully rounded, but it's right in the middle. And then you're going to hold there. Re-engage the feet, the knees hugging to center. Take hands to thighs. And now push hands into thighs. Pull the thighs into hands. And that's going to aid you in supporting those muscles to fire. So sides of the waist draw in. Sweep front ribs towards low belly. Use your core muscles now. So your transverse abdominals, not the, the classic six pack, but beside it. Use those muscles to help move your low back to the ground. So you're creating stability there. Hold that stability while you keep your face soft, jaw soft, shoulder soft. As you exhale, very slow motion, tap the heel to the ground, not losing contact of the low back to the earth. Inhale, come up. Exhale, go down. Inhale, up. Ooh, exhale down, keep the low back on the ground, inhale up, keep the shoulder soft, jaw soft, exhale left, inhale up, exhale right, inhale up, we'll do one more left side, inhale up, feet wide, knock the knees to touch, hold that for a moment. If you want to open the knees again, bring the soles of the feet to touch knees wide. Again, just checking in. Is that form okay for your spine, your low back? Good, and bring your knees back up. Take your feet and your knees hip distance. Push your feet down and try to move your feet away from you. So you're creating a little resistance. Feet pressed to the ground. Bring your hands pressed to thighs. Draw your front ribs towards the low belly. You're re-engaging. So for those of you that may not be able to lift the legs quite yet, here's a stage two that you might explore. So keeping the brace, you're just going to elevate the right heel up, keep the low back in the brace, and then right heel down, left heel up, and down. Keep the brace the whole time. Right leg up, down, exhale, left leg up, and down. Exhale, right. Yeah, and one more left. Good feet wide, knock the knees in. Open the knees, feet touching, Baddha Konasana. Okay, just one more round of the upper form where the legs are lifted. And if again, you're not quite there yet, you'll do one more round of feet down, hands to thighs, or the little step in place like we just did. So bring your legs up if that's where you're headed, squeeze the feet in, knees in, hands to thighs, press into your thighs until you feel that course of effect. Low back is coming to the ground from that engagement. Soften the jaw, eyes, shoulders, feel the core connected, keeping the low back down, exhale, right heel taps. Inhale up, exhale, left heel taps, and up. Exhale right, slow motion, inhale up, exhale left, inhale up. Now this one we're gonna extend perhaps if you can keep your low back to the ground. If that's too much with the legs straight, you go back to the bent form. Exhale left and up, exhale right. Keeping the brace, exhale left. One more level of this, take your arms up and your arms will do opposite arm, opposite leg. So as your right leg reaches, the left arm extends. Keep the low back down, the brace continues, inhale up. Left leg, right arm, keep the brace. Inhale back up, squeeze center line, refine the brace. Go ahead, right and left arm. And back up, left and right and back up. Go ahead, rest, feet, knees come touching, pause. Feet wide, knees open, and pause to soften the belly. 
in our thighs. And just because I like doing things in threes, we'll just do one more. You can of course do as many or as less rounds as feels supportive for your body. It might be just slowly building up to these final stages. You might be keeping the feet down the whole time. Just really checking in. Starting with your feet to the ground, hip distance. Start to find that traction, feet pushed down and in. Start to sweep the sides, the waist in, front ribs down and in. Lift your legs up, perhaps find the brace, front ribs towards the low belly, really feel the wrap. Can you do that and soften the jaw and the shoulders? Exhale, right heel down, keep the low back down. Inhale up, exhale left. Inhale, exhale right heel, and up, exhale left. Exhale right leg maybe, heel taps, inhale up. Exhale, left leg. Notice when there's more ask, how much more the engagement has to happen. So just feel that support stability. If you need to go back to one of the first stages, do. Have both arms up, right leg, left arm. And back up, left leg, right arm. And the final stage, if you'd like to try this, again, only if your back is feeling enough strength support to do this, you'll lift the shoulders and the head off the ground. And we'll do the same thing. So right leg, left arm. Feel the brace. Inhale, back up. Left leg, right arm. And back up. Right leg, left arm. And back up. Good. One more. Back up, hold, squeeze, midline, arms, legs, hug, hug, hug. Three, two, and one, release. Feet wide, knock your knees to touch. Feet touching, knees wide, Baddha Kanasana. Just let your belly soften, jaw soften. And then bring your knees in, cross at the ankles, maybe spinal rock up. You could spinal rock up, you could shift the side. And feel free to revisit that as many times as your body is asking for it. It could be as much as once a day. Um, core work can be done every day. And I'd love to hear how it goes.